Now we've finished the bon, uh, le, acrylic la parts couche, uh, acrylic. and uh, we start now uh, on va the à préparer But first thing, uh, there's something you need to know. Ça veut dire now I'm going to use a product, a it's called Liquin, it's a medium, it's considered qui, uh, to be a fast drying medium. medium. It's excellent for uh, glazing, it's good to mix the paint to make it uh, more fluid, and it's a good uh, way to actually Alors, give a protection to your uh, painting. Since we are going to apply oils, I uh, want to cover the canvas with a uh, layer of this liquid, this medium, it's going to be uh, just a nice equal layer everywhere as a protection, but also as a means to actually start painting in a wet layer. Another advantage of this liquid is that it dries really within 24 hours or even 12 hours. Now that we have covered the canvas with an equal layer of liquid, I'm going to apply some oil paint, and for this I use again the same Donc, colors as we did in the beginning with the acrylics. It's uh, a mixture of cobalt blue Là, and a, a, a half-burned yellow uh, ochre. An ochre a mixture brûlée. of this makes a, a beautiful grey, uh, fairly dark, mm. but still transparent. Mais and I'm going to apply this on the left side of the painting, bleuté, just on the, the background. Donne, uh, it's always better to froid, have a froid, sort of a bluish background, because blue-gray gives an, an idea of distance. On veut, on veut dans le fond. Anything Les cold, vent, like uh, blue-gray or green, it gives a, a more distant uh, uh, feeling and uh, impression. Rester, uh, uh, Now, when we have a white object, I am never using uh, a pure white, because pure white is only used for the highlights, and the highlights are done with titanium white. Now, if I have an object like this, I only use zinc white, because it's transparent or half transparent. In this case, I use a little bit uh, ochre, yellow ochre, and I mix it with the, the zinc white. And I cover the whole object, and you will see that the shadow parts is still visible. It's, it's very important to keep this transparency, a half transparency, because it, we still want to see what's underneath it. Now for the apple, I'm going to use a bit of uh, cadmium yellow and then cadmium red, but you need so little of it because both of them are uh, very, very strong pigments. Any cadmium has a, it's very, very strong and you need really uh, just a tiny bit. You see, if I just apply a bit of this uh, with the white, you will see it's, it covers immediately, it gives, uh, it's almost immediately opaque, it's uh, not transparent. So here yeah, I'm just applying a little bit of a color, a local color, just to give a first little impression. So you cover all, but still try to be transparent with it. Also with this, all you want is to just give it a local color, the actual color of the object. On met la même couleur plus ou moins partout. See also here you see that the, the shadow on the right side is still visible. It's very faint but it's still there and uh, it gives a, a nice impression of a sort of a round, a round volume. Bien sûr. Of course, you also paint through the glass here. Sur le vert, mais non, le vert va presque disparaître. Mais c'est pas grave, on va le récupérer après. Here I'm actually uh, trying to find the right color of the apple, and I uh, just put a little uh, spot on it to to see, just to compare it.
le trou bleu. Ça qui est See, bien the advantage of liquid ah. is um, you just take oh, it off. When you, have, when you made a mistake on the color, oh, you just take off the liquid with a, a towel, a cloth, and you medium. apply again a little layer of liquid, liquid. just lightly, yeah. and you can paint again on it, the because everything below it is just will stay there. All we did now was basically give each object its, its own color, or at least an impression of it, uh, still transparent or half transparent.